Yo, what's up YouTube family? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to the vlog. So today guys, we are going right back into it and I think I got everything to finish up the rear end. So first we got our e-brake cables and this e-brake cable here is from the 99 2000SI. That's what I got it from. That's gonna be the left side. If you guys wanna grab that part number there. The part numbers will also be in the description. And that's going to be the right side. So that's gonna be the e-brake cables that I'm running. We also got our stop tech drilled and slotted rotors. And that's what we're gonna be running as well. We got the rears and the fronts. And I believe these are all for, um, so the fronts are, I'm running GSR knuckles. So I got front GSRs and the rear are Integra GSR, SI, all the same thing pretty much. We got our brake calipers. We got rear SI calipers and I got front GSR brake uh, calipers. And then we also have Hawk pads. I'm probably not gonna install the pads. Um, I'm gonna wait till the car's almost ready to go to put the pads on. We'll see what happens and then last but not least we have our stop tech stainless steel brake lines that's the rear and they're for a gsr integra and that's the front and last we just got like miscellaneous like screws and bolts and things that you need to um put the e-brake cables on on the back so guys that's what we're going to be doing today so we're going to get right into it and let's get it guys Alright guys, so the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is install the rotors all over the car. It's the easiest thing to do, so I'm going to go ahead and start that first. Alright, so we got our front left uh, brake rotor. And guys, usually what you want to do is you want to clean this with brake cleaner, spray it off, get all the excess little grease that it has on there. But since I'm not driving the car at this moment, it'll be fine. I'll clean it once I put the brakes on. And that's what I'm gonna do that. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on real quick. Slide that on. And also guys, I got the little screws that go on the little rotor. So we're gonna screw those on as well. So I got one there and one there. So we got our first rotor on. Let's go to the back. All right guys, so we got our rotors on. Now what we're gonna do is put our brake calipers on. So we're gonna screw that on and the screws are right back here. Get to the next one. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna install the right side. And same thing. Use the screws, and they go right on the back. Thank you. 
right guys, so I got the front on. And now what we're gonna do is put the rears on. So let's get it. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and put the rear um, caliper on as well. This is the left side. And what I'm gonna do is, is take off the bracket and just put the bracket on first. And also I got these uh, factory bolts. I'm not 100% sure if they're gonna work. So if they do work, I will put the part number in the description. If they don't work, I'm gonna have to go and get some different bolts. Cause they kind of do look kind of long, but we'll see. So I'm gonna put this on real fast. All right, I found one. Um, at least I know what size I'll need. So I'm just gonna put this one on real quick and double check that it's the right one. And then if so, I'll go to the parts store and get the right size. Oh yeah, that's definitely the one. All right, so I'm gonna have to go to the parts store and get um, two different bolts, four different bolts for this thing. The ones I'm using are too long, so I'm still gonna go ahead and put this on. I'm just gonna mock it up, and then I'll swap out the bolts later on. All right, so we got that all on, both sides. And now what we need to do is throw our e-brake cable on. All right, so we're gonna do the left side first. And before I grab this, I'm gonna go underneath the car and pull off the old e-brake cable. So both of them are out, so all we have to do is probably go inside and just undo it from the inside and pull them out. So that's where we're headed to next. All right, so we gotta take these two bolts off and slide these guys off. So that's unhooked and take a 12. All right, take that out. And then these things should just slide right out. All right, I'm gonna go, stay right there. I'm gonna go underneath and pull them out. Alright, so let's put this back on.
and I got them both in. So that's done. So now all we gotta do is go underneath the car and we can snake the rest of the e-brake cable where it needs to go. So I'm just gonna snake this side real quick, right here. is going underneath the car. I'm going to grab a 10 mil real fast and I'm going to bolt it up to the chassis. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is put the bracket on. guys all you have to do for the bottom here is just put the little grommets where they go all right so those are both on and just follow the rest we'll put all these on Guys, the part numbers for those bolts, you need one, two, three, four. Here's the part number for that. They'll be in the description as well. That's the bolt. All right, guys, and last but not least, we got the rest of the clips here. So we have the little retaining clip, and that's gonna be the part number there. Again, the part numbers are gonna be in the description. All you do with this, just push that on. And then the next thing that we have, there's gonna be your part number. It's gonna be this little pin. And that's gonna go right in here. And then the next one is going to be this one here. And it's the little retaining clip. That's it. And we're going to do the same thing for the other side.
And that's it for the installation for the e-brake cables, guys. And that's what we have to do is just throw these guys on. We have our stop tech stainless steel brake lines. We're just gonna throw these on real fast. And that's gonna be it. All right, guys. So we got the stop tech stainless steel brake lines. And we're gonna go ahead and put these on real fast. All right, guys, so we're gonna put this brake line on real fast. So I'm trying to figure out where to run the cable through because if I run it through the stock location, it kind of just rests on top of the axle. And technically the axle doesn't go through here. So, and there's nowhere to really zip tie it. I mean, I can kind of zip tie it to here. I guess that would work if I zip tie it there. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna run to the parts store. I'm gonna grab a SI, 99-2000 SI brake line, and I'm gonna compare it with the one I bought. This is for a GSR. And I'm gonna see if it's longer or if it's the same. So I'll keep you guys posted. But if not, this is probably gonna go like that and then I'll just zip tie it to this little bracket here and just keep it away from the axle. And then that will work. But for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And I'm just gonna do the fronts real fast. Um, so yeah, I'll just knock this out real quick. So for the back, I'll get back to you guys on that. And then for the front ones, we'll just go ahead and put these on real quick. And then this has a little mounting tab right here. And then you could just bolt that on right here on the side. So these go right here on the side here. And then this is gonna wrap around the strut. And this will come like that. And this goes right in there. That's that. And I'll be around the strut. Something like that. And then this goes on the strut. So that'll be it for that. And then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. All right guys, so we got the brake lines done, rotors and calipers installed all around. So 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna head to the parts store and see if I can get a 99 2000 Honda Civic SI uh, brake line for the rear. And I'm gonna match it up with the one I got because I got the Integra one and see if it's a little bit longer. If it is, that's the one that I need and I'll keep you guys posted on that. I'll make a little video and show you guys how that came out. But if not, if it's the same thing, what I'm gonna do is just take like a little zip tie or a little bracket and kind of hold it onto the e-brake uh, bracket here and that should keep it away from the axle. But last thing I wanted to show you guys is one more thing guys, one more thing. So we're gonna send out the Freelander uh, Vistas coupler out. I'm gonna send it to my buddy uh, Shaka Rob. He's gonna take care of it. He's gonna put a uh, 1310 yokes all around, send out some new pipes so that way I can bolt it onto the CRV transmission and the Waggle diff. And also my boy Kelvis, appreciate you, man. He hooked it up with these um, bearings. So that way I can replace those stock ones and put some nice ones that hold some power here. So I should be good with that. But yeah, guys, so we're gonna wrap it up. Appreciate all you guys for watching. Stay tuned. 